guys, uh, this is an explanation of how to do um, an acid-base titration um, with a burette with the indicator being phenolphthalein. So I have already taken this burette, cleaned it out, rinsed it with DI three times, running it through the tip. I've also rinsed it with a little bit of the um, solution that I'm going to put in here. Now, for our acid-base titrations, we always put the sodium hydroxide, that'll be your stock solution, in the burette for every titration, every acid-based titration that we do. And down here in the Erlmeyer flask, this will be your unknown acid. I've already read my initial volume. That's really important to read too. So I read this and it looks to me like it's about 0.59 milliliters. So remember, two places past the decimal. And also, we're reading the volumes directly from this scale here. Um, don't add or subtract anything to that number. It's, we just read the number directly. So it's zero at the top, so I'm reading zero, about 0 0.59 milliliters. That's my initial volume. Okay, I've got that. I've also, by the way, gotten all the bubbles out of the tip. I have my unknown acid in my Erlmeyer flask. I have a magnetic stir bar in my Erlmeyer flask already. And I have my stir plate. Um, I also have a piece of white paper under here. This just makes it a little easier to see the end point or the equivalence point. So I've got all this ready to go. I read my initial volume. I'm going to turn on my stir plate so we have it spinning. And I'm going to add my indicator, the phenol thaline. Yeah, a few drops, three or four, maybe five. Now with phenol thaline, um, it looks clear when it's in an acidic solution. It looks just like water. Um, when it turns basic, pH of about seven or so, it'll turn a light red color. That's what we're looking for. Now, the key to any titration is patience. You have to be patient. It'll go, okay? Just got to keep going and not get in a hurry because when you get in a hurry, um, oftentimes you'll miss the end point, which means you have to do that again. What we're looking for is as we add the, the sodium hydroxide from the burette, at first it'll look like nothing's happening, but keep going, be patient. And then pretty soon we'll see a splash of light red appear and disappear real quickly. That means we're starting to get closer to the end point. So that means we want to go slower. Now, the way you control the speed, and you can do it really well with a, a volumetric bite, if you're at like this, is with how fast you turn the stop cock. So the stop cock is closed when it's perpendicular to the tip of the burette, and open when it's parallel. So we start out with it closed, of course, and the technique is to twist it 180 degrees each time. Now at first, um, we can go somewhat faster, and the way we go fast with this technique is to turn the stop clock slowly because the, um, the slower you turn the stop clock, the more sodium hydroxide comes out with each twist and you're actually titrating faster. But as they, we get closer to that end point, we start seeing those flashes of color, we're gonna need to go slower, which means you're gonna twist faster. And it's always a 180 degree twist. So I'm gonna start out, and I'm already seeing some uh, light red in there. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna slow down a little bit by twisting faster. I like that. And you don't, you know, this is your first titration. You, you don't know. It might go real quickly. It might take 20 mils. See, yeah, it's starting to, to hang around a little bit longer. That means we're getting closer, so I'm going to go slower by twisting faster. And notice I also wait each time for the color to completely disappear before I add some more. Look at that, it's lasting longer now. So I'm going to go slower by twisting faster. Look at that, it's pretty close. So now I'm twisting really fast to go really slow.
there we go. Or is it? Nope, I'm still clear. The first time you get that light red color that stays, um, you're done. And the lighter the better. So there we go. Looks like that's staying, so we've reached our end point. Now it's really important that we read our final volume. Two places past the decimal, and it looks to me like it's about 9.70 milliliters. So that's what I put in my data table, and I'm finished that titration.